Breaking news right now. The 18-year-old that MCSO investigators say was involved in that interstate Why shootout. Why would they put a T before his name? <laughs> T for trouble. <laughs> T for terror. Do you think right. it's pronounced, do you think the T is pronounced T, though? You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You think so? <laughs> you know, some, hey, sometimes they'll do this. They'll put one letter, but you're supposed to pronounce the name of the letter, like T Marvin. You think mm. it's to Marvin? <laughs> That's hard. Yeah, to Marvin. I think you're right. Uh, mm. <sighs> short sound. It'd be more. It'd be more distinguished. It was like T. Period. Marvin. Like T. Marvin Jones. But to Marvin Jones, like. Yes, yeah, a lot going on here, man. <laughs> this right here is tells you everything you need to know. Like when you saw this, when this kid was born, and she gave him that name, she set him on a course. That was, you know, just leads here. This is where this is where that road ends, man. When you name your kid tomorrow. Well, the same right drugs, the right same now, drugs he... that were in her system when she came up with the name were in her system when he was in her uh, womb. You know, so. Yeah. This is and the same DNA. Eighteen-year-old that MCSO investigators say was involved in that interstate shootout that left a fifteen-year-old cousin dead has just been arrested. Marvin Jones booked into Metro about an hour ago, charged with reckless endangerment and tampering with evidence. The rolling gun battle along I-165 also injured Jones' nine-year-old brother. Investigators say Jones was the intended target, and he also fired shots. As our Lee Peck reports, the nine-year-old who remains hospitalized was also the victim of a drive-by shooting at a residence in a Mobile area last year. Okay, let's re repeat that. I, I gotta make sure I heard that. The nine, there's a nine year old in the car that was injured. And what? Shots. As our Lee Peck reports, the nine year old who remains hospitalized was also the victim of a drive by shooting at a residence in a mobile area last year. So this nine year old has been in two. <laughs> no way. That possible? How is that possible? They can't even care for best for his tenth birthday. I'm telling you, man, it's just a different, different man. Now Maybe imagine one your one. nine. Imagine your nine-year-old. You guys, all you guys have a nine-year-old, and your nine-year-old is in school with this nine-year-old. Yo. You might want to think about private school, man. Uh, Here, and that, that nine-year-old already did two tours in the streets. Yeah, that nine-year-old's different. He's different. It's just like the Coyote versus the Pit Bull. That nine-year-old is different than your nine-year-old, man. I promise you. Say Jones was the intended target. And he also fired shots. As our Lee Peck reports, the nine-year-old who remains hospitalized was also the victim of a drive-by shooting at a residence in a Mobile area last year. Riddled with bullet holes and shot out windows, this is the SUV the Mobile County Sheriff's Office says was involved in yesterday's fatal shootout on I-165. Amazingly, a four-year-old in the back seat uninjured, but their 15-year-old sister in the middle row shot and killed. A nine-year-old boy shot twice in the legs, the intended target, an 18-year-old sitting behind the driver, his and the 9-year-old's mother driving the SUV, and the 15-year-old and toddler's mother in the passenger seat, all head straight to Children's and Women's Hospital. You know, I, I will say the driver, who is the mother of the intended target, and the mother of the 9-year-old who was shot, by the way, the second time he's been shot in a year, um, <laughs> has been less than cooperative. You, know, you would think, you know, that you know, you've got a child who's... And then mom doesn't cooperate with the investigation. These sisters are different, man. I think upon that, they should, they should remove the child from her um, from her custody. The nine-year-old? Right, that would be the logical next step. Yeah, how do you not remove that nine-year-old from her custody? Like that that's just you have to. Anybody with a good conscience or a decent conscience 
would, 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 would remove that child now, man. She's not cooperating. What? Was shot. By the way, the second time he's been shot in a year um, has been less than cooperative. You, know, you would think, you know, that you know you've got a child who's been shot now for the second time in a year, a nine-year-old, and then you know your niece who's been murdered. You would think you would want to be overly cooperative and you know and help get the people responsible for this behind bars where they can't be a threat any longer. Back at it today, shutting down I-165 South, Sheriff Paul Burt says investigators were able to recover some evidence and believe the shots fired into the vehicle were from an SKS and AK-47 based on the caliber. All indications we have right now, the, the other vehicle, you know, began firing and then, you know, the 18 year old return fire. You know, and, and I'll say, you know, without getting into great detail, it's not the first shooting that he's been involved in. This is clearly a case of gang activity. You know, the, the intended target, as well as the other parties are known gang members. And, you know, but the senseless shooting, you know, in, into a vehicle, especially driving down the interstate, is it, just something you don't see all the time. It's something that, you know, I'm not going to say just the sheriff's office, but law enforcement's not going to tolerate. While they're not yet releasing the name of the 15-year-old girl, Sheriff Burt says they are aggressively following up leads on potential suspects. You know, I'll just be frank. I don't care if two thugs kill one another. That That's, you know, they both got themselves into that life. But when you shoot in a manner where it endangers innocent people, you know, we're coming after you. Secondly, you got to be careful making statements like yeah, he, he, he low kept key it okay. He kept it real. Like, yeah, I don't have a problem with it, but it, it, it allows black people to to give them the moral high ground. Now it's like, did you hear what that did? That he said? I don't know about that argument. I mean, if they if they can excuse, if they can excuse right. a nine year old getting shot twice in a in less than a year, and a fifteen year old getting killed, and the mom not the mom not cooperating with the cops, they, they can forget about claiming any moral high ground or any moral low know. ground. This is. Yeah, I think I think the I think the cop he just he's just pissed off. He was I think he was you know he told the truth. You don't care if they you don't care if they if criminals kill each other, but you bring kids into the mix, and it's a it's a big problem. I think what he's trying to convey is he's like emotionally affected by this kind of crime. When two gang bangers kill each other, he'll have to no, I mean, them I, or charge them or whatever, but he won't actually care. I understand what he's saying, and, and I agree with it, but saying things like that, they can clip that. Like Twitter and Instagram will only get that. They won't get this whole story. The only thing Twitter and Instagram will say will get is this part. And they'll be like, well, damn, that's how they feel about us. I told you they didn't care about us. You know, I'll just be frank. I don't care if two thugs kill one another. That that's you know, yeah, they both got the themselves in that life. But when you shoot in a manner where it endangers innocent people. You know, we're coming after you. Secondly, if you are in any way assisting or harboring these people that are responsible, we're going to come after you with the full extent of the law as well and lock you up. If you have information that can help investigators, the sheriff's office wants to hear from you. Callers can remain anonymous. So they're asking for the public to cooperate when the mob won't. If the mom's scared to cooperate, man, and I'm in the public, I'm like, yo, she's scared to cooperate. She, I don't think she's scared. That. I don't think she's scared. She knew she she knew what her 18 year old. She knows to. something. Yeah. All right. 